uh, just relax and uh, count backwards from 10. You should feel nice and sleepy. Living, seven, nine, four, one, two. Here we are. All right. Uh, is he under? He isn't. He has been sedated and under. Got IV started and all that. Sweetheart, um, you want suction and you just want to watch? What, uh, what do you feel comfortable with? Yeah, suction and um. All right, yeah. you take care of suction, and you take care of cauterizing any bleeders, okay, in the brain. Okay. Yes. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a little. I'm gonna follow that scan that's up on the scan right there, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. go right over where the bleed is, and I'm going to place an incision down the scalp. Try to hide it in like the part if you can, so they don't have to shave their head. You know. Mm -hmm. um, we want to we want to avoid any like any extra traumatic activity. So waking up with no hair could be very traumatic. Yeah. Um, so let me just place that incision right there. Okay. I'm just exposing the skin and retracting to the skull. Oh, I see that fracture right there. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna take the take these small pieces out with the fracture, but I am gonna take a drill and we're going to cut out a little window right over the bleed. So let me just cut that. All right, drill. We'll have Nancy keep the blood flowing in, give him another unit of blood, so you guys don't have to worry about that. All right. All right, remove that piece of skull there, a little drill drill. Uh-oh. Set up out there, good thing. I feel so silly, I should have paid more attention. Okay. Right, can you get that bleed right there? Of course. Go ahead and colorize that. Yep, just zap zap. Doing light, okay. Okay, we've got the skull piece removed. All right, I'm going to place a couple sutures. Well, actually, I'm go ahead and suction that excess blood, sweetheart. Okay, got it. And, and I'm gonna go ahead and place a couple sutures on that bleed. We'll zap, zap. And where some. are you in the internet? Oh, R three. Okay, I'm, you guys left the door open, by the way. An accident. All right. Couple stitches there. I did say I wanted a surgery. I'm nervous. <laughs> Yikes. Mm. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna do a flush of the area. Definitely going to get him started on some broad spectrum antibiotic. Maximum strength, <laughs> high dose penicillin. Woo. <laughs> See if they work. Okay, they work. 
Well, that def less let some germs in. I can't. Success! Yay! Okay, I got the sutures there. You want to zap that little area there, sweetheart? Yep. I do one. Okay, I'm going to suction that excess blood. Got it. Okay, we're going to do a quick examination of any other surrounding tissue. Always when you're doing a surgery, right before you get ready to close, you just do a quick sweep. Make sure there's no, like, random bleeders that, it, you know, pop up or you missed something or anything like that. Just a secondary um, examination just to make sure. Make sure we got everything. Okay. Nancy, go ahead and start him on mannitol as well for the, uh, the intracranial swelling. We are going to replace this piece after it's been cleansed in saline. We're going to replace this piece of skull. Go ahead and suction one more time, sweetheart. Here we go. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of bone cement over some surgical mesh, so it gives room in case of swelling, because we want to be able to have that, you know, be a little free floating kind of. All right. All right, we got the surgical mesh. Okay. Okay, we're gonna bring the scalp back together and we're gonna stitch. Let's get this stitch. Suture, suture. Okay. Pressure bandage will be right there. All right. Let's see with the other doctor to see if he needs ICU. All right, let's mm -hmm. go ahead and move him on off the bed. We'll take him in the back. Okay. Go ahead and grab him. 